welcome back. For these problems, you are adding or subtracting and you are writing them in unit form. So if I have 7 tenths and 2 hundredths, and we take 4 tenths and 3 hundredths off. Well, let's see, let's start with our tenths. 7 tenths minus 4 tenths would be 3 tenths. But if we do 2 hundredths minus 3 hundredths, we're going to have to take away from those tenths. So it's going to turn into 2 tenths. And then we're going to have 12 hundredths minus 3 hundredths, which would be 9 hundredths. We would have to regroup. 5 tenths minus 2 ones and 8 tenths. So the tens don't change. 6 ones minus 2 ones would give us four ones, but then I need to take eight tenths from those ones, so I'm going to regroup it so that I would have three ones, and now I have ten tenths, and ten minus eight would give me two tenths. Try the remaining four problems and write your answer in unit form for those as well. Without actually adding, can you determine if 753 is a reasonable answer for this problem? We have 200s, 400s, that get us to about 600s, and this is about another 100, so we're in the 700s range. This is a correct sum for this problem, but 753 is not a correct sum for this problem. How could we correct it? We could change the sum. Notice these numbers 205 became 20.5 and 457 changed to 45.7. So we need to change the sum to match the change in the place values. We changed all the hundreds to tens and all the ones to tenths. So we're going to move the place value over one spot as well for the sum. We have 20 plus 45 plus 9. That's about 20, 40, and 10. That would get us to about 70. So it should be 75.3. We wouldn't want our answer to say 7.53 because that would be too small and 753 was too large. So we needed to adjust the place values to match the sum. In this number sentence, the sum is correct and the digits in the add ins are correct, but the place values are incorrect. Try and determine where the decimal places would go in these three numbers to get an answer of 30.057. Pause here, try a couple out, place some decimal points in there and see if you can get them in the correct spots. Just play around for a couple of minutes and see if you can get to 30.57. Readjust if you need to. I'm in different spots. Here is the correct place values to end up with 30.057. You can see here we have 20 plus 9 gets us to about 30, and then we have the little bits of decimals left to bump us from 29 up to 30. Here the add-ins are arranged correctly. The reason that we arrange them this way is so any tens are lined up together, the ones are lined up together, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths get arranged accordingly. So we start by lining up the decimal place. 
Recall that you can add zeros to the end of a decimal without changing its value. So then we would have 0 plus 7 plus 0 is 7. 0 plus 5 plus 0 is 5. 5 plus 4 plus 1 more makes 10. The decimal is going to stay lined up, and we'll carry our 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 9 is another 10, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So we end up with 30.057. Number one, choose two or three decimals less than 1,000. Decimals can extend to the thousandths place, so three decimal spots. Make sure decimals have at least one number other than zero to the right of the decimal point. List your chosen decimals. So your number has to be less than 1,000, like 800 is less than 1,000, and it should extend past the decimal point, it says have at least one number with decimals other than zero. So I have some decimals there. It says don't extend past the thousands place. So I only have to the hundredths, but I could have one additional place value if I needed to. I have selected two additional decimals here, one of which extends into the thousands place. Now it says use the standard algorithm to compute the sum of the decimals from part A. If you selected different decimals, you will have a different answer for part B. So I have to line up my decimals here. And I'm going to fill in with zeros so that way I have all the way to the thousands. That would be five. 2, 9, 10, don't forget to line up your decimal, 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 5 is 10, plus 3 is 13, 1 plus 6 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 8 plus 1 is 9. So my final answer to the sum would be 913. 0 0.025 or 25 thousandths. A student saw this problem and added incorrectly. Let's correct his work. We need to line up our decimal spots, and in this gap, we need a zero. So instead of the six and the two lining up like he thought they did, the 2 actually lines up with the hundredths place. So that would be 2, 6, and 1. We have to make sure our place values line up. Let's correct this subtraction problem as well. I have. 1.006 minus 0 0.2, and we're going to fill it in with extra zeros there. 6 minus 0 is 6, 0 minus 0 is 0, we'll need to borrow. 10 minus 2 is 8, and 0 minus 0 is 0. So this should say 0 0.806. These two students use different strategies to solve the last problem. Ryan rewrote it as a mixed number and then as an improper fraction. Then he converted them to have the same denominator and subtracted them using the fraction version. Whereas Tyler used the standard algorithm, just subtraction by lining them up and borrowing two different methods to arrive at the same answer. Here we are going to subtract. It might be helpful to display a grid or some form of lines on your paper to remind you to line up your decimal spots. So I have 608.05 minus 
51.308. So I'm going to line up those decimals, and this is a subtraction problem. Regroup from your 5 here. 10 minus 8 is 2. 4 minus 0 is 4. 10 minus 3 is 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. 10 minus 5 is 5. And 5 minus nothing is 5. So this is 556.742. Consider the list of numbers. Which one of the numbers is the sum of two other numbers in the list? Well, if I try and add two numbers that have a whole together, that's going to give me two point something. And there are no numbers in here that have two in the list, so we don't want to add those. If I started with this one, in order to get 0 0.331, I would have to add a very small amount. So I'm not going to use any of those. A half can be rewritten as 0 0.5 or 0 0.50, which if I added a 5 to the tenths place, 5 plus 7, that would be 1, 0, 1.201, which isn't in the list. Let's try 0 0.701 plus this one, because we knew 0.5 was close to another number, but it wasn't quite there. This would be 63 hundredths. That would be 1, 3, and 6 plus 7 is 13. 1 with 331 thousandths. That is this one, oops, right here. So this one is equal to these two added together. A baseball pitcher throws a baseball. The baseball reaches home plate in about 0 0.458 seconds. A softball pitcher throws a softball. The softball reaches home plate in about 0 0.419 seconds. How many fewer seconds does it take the softball to reach home plate than the baseball? So fewer is a subtraction question. 458 minus 419. We will need to borrow or regroup. 18 minus 9 is 9. 4 minus 1 is 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. Don't forget to line up your decimal. So it is 0 0.039 seconds fewer. For problems 5 and 6, write the unknown digits so the sum or difference is correct. Well, to get a 5 here, we would need to, or to get a 0, we would need a 5 plus 5, which would make it a 1 there. So 7 plus 1 is 8, so we need 2 more to get to 0. That would make another 10. 4 plus 1 is 5, so we need 5 more to get a 10. That ends in a 0. 1 plus 3 is 4, so we add 6 to 4 to get 10. 5 plus 1 is 6, so we need a 4 there to get a 10. And then the 1 plus 0 would be 1. So it should say 4.6525. For number six, let's continue our zeros. In order to get a one, we would need to take and borrow, this would be three 
that would turn into 9, and we borrow again. 10 minus 9 gives us 1. 9 minus 6 would give us 3. 3 minus 3 would give us 0. And 2 minus 1 gives us 1. Make sure your warm-up is complete and your workbook is filled in for this lesson. Come back tomorrow for lesson 14.